2016, I was right behind the bench, and um, yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, the actual when I was on the when we were actually went into double extra time, I screamed out to the girls, um, like, "You can do this! You're you're a fitter team." And I remember the um, I remember the on the TV, the actual commentator heard me say it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, Gabby, um, it was amazing because Gabby did. Um, she intercepted the. She, inter she intercepted. She was. She changed the game. My background has uh, predominantly been rugby orientated. Uh, I've been in the industry for now nearly 20 years. Uh, I started with uh, Rugby Australia with um, uh, the elite, the elite national talent identification program, and uh, fortunate enough to start to work for the Queensland Reds, uh, which I spent four years there. Uh, won a championship in 2011, and after that, I started uh, in the great game of netball. And in that time, we had a very, we had a very, very successful reign. Uh, I started there in uh, 2013 to 2016, and in that time, we we made uh, we made four grand finals in four years, and uh, two magnificent championships in 2015, 16. Um, then I had an opportunity over at the Brisbane Lions for a couple of years, spent some time over there as a strength and power coach, and uh, then ended, ended back up as the, the high performance manager for the Queensland Reds. Uh, spent a couple of years there, and um, now, I, now I feel like I'm back home. I'm back as head of performance with Netball Queensland, um, which is which I sort of still pinch myself. It's, a, it's a, an amazing opportunity. And um, yeah, we're looking to looking for some some more fantastic success. So that's a little bit about me. What Brendan brings to the table is expectations. He is a winner. He has high demands on athletes, um, on, on himself firstly, and he, um, he pushes them. He pushes them to improve. And that's what um, this program is all about, being able to get the best out of athletes, being able to keep improving them. Um, we need to improve as a team and bring, you know, brings that. He brings those high expectations, he brings those high performance behaviours which the, the players uh, respect, which they look up to and they want. They want to be pushed so that they can be the best that they can be. He takes you to a place where you never thought you could go um, physically and mentally. He digs you into a deep hole where you don't think you can run or go any further and you somehow manage to and he takes you to that dark place. Um, during pre-season, so when you feel that in the game and you get in a, in a bit of a rut, you can pull yourself out. But yeah, he, he's, he's the best person ever. He, he cares for you so much, so it's hard because it's like a love-hate relationship. You, you know, he cares so much, so you want to perform for him. But then you hate that feeling that he takes you to, but you know it's done because he loves you, like through, from like a care perspective, and he just wants the best for you and the team. So. When I heard he was back with us for 2020, I was stoked. I, I texted Ronaldo straight away and I was like, Diddy, are you ready to cry? And are you ready to vomit? And are you ready to laugh at the same time? Because you just love it, but you hate it. But he's just, yeah, he's just the best. Go! Five, six, seven. Hold your breath, we're not too